I travel a lot and I, 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 I go around, but I carry the mountains with me. I'm so happy to be here uh, because they remind me of the mountains, although there are no mountains. In Himalayas, uh, the myth is that Dart was a plowman and he came plowing the earth. And the flowers that were raised are the mountains. Probably he, when he came here, he took rest. <laughs> so there are no mountains here. And I, I was in London and I, I, was, uh, uh, I went to this place called Temple Tube Station. I have a mutual friend of uh, 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 Stephen and uh, Kathy, is, uh, John Clark, my friend. So we had a reading. I went to the place called T Temple Tube uh, Station. They call it Tube Subway. And uh, I went and this escalator is going up. And I thought it's, it's, it's a huge mountain. And there's, there's going to be a goddess on the top of the mountain. Because Hindu goddesses or Buddhist goddesses obviously on the top of the mountain. And I went up and there was no goddess. There was this uh, uh, old woman. She was selling big issue magazine, and someone had punched her eye. So this was my goddess of the metropolis. This poem, Temple London. Wind howled. Wind howled like trumpet of a fierce Kali, rushed in through the temple tube station to slap my face, to smother the flame of my breath, and blind my vision as I soared, floating up the steely slopes of the escalators in search of reaching a hillside shrine that our goddesses always prefer to live on. Once up, out of the station, in the freezing cold, as I exerted to push my overcoat up my shaking frame, I saw her there, out alone in the open, with a swollen black eye and an issue of the big issue held like a trophy, a sacrificial rooster against her sagging breasts. <laughs>